Well, before we, we begin today, I wanted to do a few words of introduction. This might be in some ways a little more challenging meditation than we've been doing up to now. I really wanted to do something that um, addressed, or at least is some kind of contribution to all that's been going on since the murder of George Floyd and the worldwide um, call, not only for an end to pr police brutality, but, but for all of us, I think, to, to go deeper with our, our own um, inherent racist um, tendencies. So this is uh, a meditation that looks at both safety and privilege. And it, it is meant for those of us with lighter complexions or who um, identify as white or Caucasian. And again, just a couple introductory comments. So many of us associate racism with people who are bad or extreme and who, who do intentionally destructive things, deliberate, hateful, violent, acts and suggestions that we as white people might need to examine our own implicit bias and the ways we could be unconsciously complicit in bias and privilege can, can, can really um, lead to defensiveness pretty easily and quickly. So um, remembering that we are products of socialization can be really helpful in this, that we, we are all in a very racist culture, actually. And we, um, there's, there are so many factors that are often beyond our conscious awareness that influence us. So this is not our fault. That's the main message to remember. We may be and probably are implicitly racist. We don't mean to be, we don't want to, and, and we didn't cause it, it's not our fault. The, there are forces beyond our control. So when we come at it from that lens, it, it, it can be easier. So just a reminder of that. Um, there are generations of socialization, you know, it's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. And while that is all true, it, it, that doesn't relieve of us relieve us of any responsibility. So also, you know, it's the both end thing. So also we do need to claim any part that is ours. So, so this meditation is meant as just a start. It's just kind of planting the seeds. Um, also our history, our media and uh, local news submit us to stories over and over again of, piece, of people of color as being terrorists, as being violent, as being inhuman. Again, we're just, we're, we're inundated with these messages that can lead us to believe, again, that this could be beyond our conscious awareness that white people need to be protected. And then this, of course, can and has led to unarmed black people being killed by the police, to young immigrant children being held indefinitely in detention facilities, so even when we feel conscious love and respect for people of color, these generationally, generationally conditioned fears might still arise. So again, this meditation is just meant to, to open us to all this, to help us um, build a new paradigm. And I suspect because you're here, that's what you want. So this is just one offering um, meant to begin to help us with that work. And it's based on the work of Aaron Rose and uh, Robin D'Angelo. So with that, I'll invite you to find a comfortable place to sit or lie down. Well, it looks like most people are sitting. And allow the eyes to gently close either partially or fully and invite your body to settle in taking a deep breath in through the nose. Filling the abdomen fully and releasing it completely. Inviting any stress, tension, worry, or anything else that might not be serving you, just let that go. 
breathing in again and feeling a wave of relaxation flowing through your body. And if there is any remaining tension in the body, just notice where you feel it and perhaps bring some focus to that area and loosen it. Breathe into any tension and just see if even 1% can be released. Focusing your awareness now on your head and noticing any sensations in your face, loosening up any tension there, feeling it relax, feel behind your eyes, release any tension there. And also relax your forehead and your jaw, even relax your tongue. Bringing awareness to your throat, feeling it soften and relax. And allow and invite your shoulders to just release and settle, letting go of any tension. Feel into your arms and hands and your torso and your hips, your pelvic cavity. Release all of those and relax. Putting awareness now on your left leg and foot, relaxing all the way down to your toes. Same thing with your right leg and foot, relaxing all the way down to your toes. And as you continue to breathe, send your breath down into the base of your spine, through the pelvic bone and into the tailbone. And here, imagine a golden light at the very base of the spine, radiating out from within. This light is warming, balancing, soothing, and shines in all directions. Allow it to fill every part of your body. And now with your mind's eye, notice a point of golden light emanating from the very center of the earth. And see how it reaches up to you, connecting to your light, creating a circuit of loving, calming, stabilizing energy. Pause for a moment and feel into your deep connection with the earth. Experience how deeply and completely cared for you are in all ways at all times. Allow this earth energy to hold you reminding you that this is who you are, connected, supported, and whole, just like every other being on this planet. And as you connect to the infinite support and guidance of the earth, set the intention to show up fully for this process now, to welcome true insight into the source of any fear and insecurity, to feel whatever may arise, and to have the outcome of this meditation be for the highest good of all. Breathing easily and naturally, exhaling fully. Calling to mind the situation that brought you to this meditation. Perhaps you seek to loosen your attachment to calling the police in situations involving people of color, knowing that doing so often ends in violence and death. Perhaps you are in a place of financial or professional fear with competitiveness and jealousy arising about a colleague of color. Or perhaps you simply carry a sense that you have more work to do. And your intention is to expand your capacity to identify people who appear different from you as safe rather than as threatening. Holding the situation in your mind, begin to feel into the sensations and associations it produces. Why do you feel unsafe? Allow the feelings to increase. Why do you feel unstable? Allow the feelings to grow even stronger. 
How does this fear and sense of unsafety show up in your body? You might feel that a deep fear and anxiety such as this is something to be ashamed of, pushed away. You may have been running from this feeling for quite a while now. Now is a place to feel into it, to shine a light on it, to see it in its fullness so that you can release it for good. And so, taking another deep breath, ask yourself, what about my understanding of safety needs to change? Where have I been fearful when I could have been loving? Take another deep breath and ask yourself, what about my understanding of safety needs to change? Where have I been irresponsible? Where have I sacrificed another's safety for my own? Where have I chosen to protect myself instead of another? Where have I jumped to conclusions? Where have I benefited, whether consciously or unconsciously, simply by virtue of the appearance of my complexion or features? When did I start believing that someone who does not look like me is a threat? When did I learn that this is what safety looks like? When did I stop trusting my neighbors? What is this costing me? What is this costing the world? Where do I need to see things differently? Breathe into these questions, allowing whatever truths emerge to come forward, not judging, not suppressing, simply letting it be. Continuing to breathe deeply, invite in more guidance. Open up more willingness to see differently. What about my understanding of safety needs to change? Where have I caused harm in my pursuit of safety? Where do I need to surrender and make amends for my actions? Am I willing to see things differently? Am I willing to believe in a world where safety is never a trade-off? Am I willing to create that world, starting with myself? Sit with these questions, allowing your willingness to grow and allow yourself to be guided with whatever emerges, saying to yourself, yes, I've been this way. I've been irresponsible. I have jumped to conclusions. I have placed my own safety over the safety of others. I have unwittingly benefited from this system and I am now willing to change. Breathe in, I am now willing to change. Breathe out, I am willing to see things differently. Breathe in again, I am willing to change. Breathe out, I am willing to act differently. Breathe in again, I am willing to change. And breathe out, I am willing to see things differently. As this wave of recognition passes over you, moves through you, allow yourself to tap back into that golden light within your root, connected to the earth. Allow that golden light to shine on and wrap around whatever truths, whatever memories, whatever people from your past emerged. 
Let this all simply be and remember your connection to the earth. Feel the earth's eternal light connecting you to your own sense of rootedness to your infinite system of support. As you continue to observe and shine this light on whatever truth has come forward, identify specifically that which is no longer serving you, which has never served the world, which you are now ready to release. Feeling deeply down into your roots, into the earth's support, say to yourself and to the world, this here is what I am ready to let go of. This fear, this scarcity, this separation. I no longer want to feel these feelings. I no longer wish to act this way. I no longer want to see my, my fellow human beings as a threat against which I must be protected. I no longer want to fear there is not enough, enough love, enough money, enough space, enough care. I no longer want to feel safe at the expense of others. I no longer want to feel benefit at the expense of others. I am willing to experience the world in new ways. And so I surrender. Imagine these old ways of being leaving your body and being surrendered into the earth like so much compost to be transmuted into love. Imagine these old ways of being, leaving your body, being surrendered into the earth like so much compost where they are transmuted into love. Feel the feelings of fear and scarcity leaving your body. The feelings of fear and scarcity leave your body. Your willingness to let go your very willingness to change allows the energy to leave your body. Your willingness is the portal, it's the key. Your willingness to change changes the world. My willingness to change changes the world. Allow every cell in your body to respond. Where there was fear, let there now be trust. Where there was lack, let there now be abundance. Where there was competition, let there now be cooperation. Where there was theft, let there now be restitution. Where there was violence, let there now be repair. Let there now be repair.
Breathe in to this new way of being. This is who you are. This is who you were always meant to be. This is who you can return to again and again if you ever lose your way. And as we prepare to end this meditation, identify for yourself any new actions you must take. What repair must you begin? What pattern must you shift? What conversation must you initiate? Know that though you may feel you walk alone, you are completely supported in this work by a wise and loving universe and by millions of other people who seek to bring about the same change on our planet. Feeling this support, take in a deep breath in through your nose, hold it at the top for a moment, and release it out through your mouth. Continue to breathe deeply. With every inhale, welcome in strength and integrity. And with every exhale, let go of any remaining fear and anxiety. Continuing to breathe deeply. When you're ready, begin to wiggle your toes and your fingers, feeling your way back to your physical body, welcoming the opportunity to go back out into the world, allowing your eyes to gently open, The time for change is now. You have everything you need to begin today, right here, right now. One of the things we did yesterday was to take 84 seconds of silence in honor of George Floyd. Why don't we do that now before opening it up for any comments? So starting now, 84 seconds of silence. <laughs> 